Before Clint Eastwood became a household name at Warner Brothers, where he spent 35 years, Jack Warner himself had given a young contract after the name Clint. This actor, who would later be known simply as the actor, showcased his impressive strength sparingly, earning him the reputation of a gentle giant on the landmark 1950s show, Cheyenne. The actor's portrayal left a lasting impression on audiences, who were captivated by his understated power and gentle demeanor. Clint Walker, born Norman Eugene Walker in Hartford, Illinois, was a clean-cut, all-American personality who stood at an impressive six feet six inches tall. With his good looks and towering presence, it's no wonder he was discovered while working at a gas station and offered a job as a doorman at a popular Hollywood nightclub. Walker was of one-quarter Cherokee descent, a fact he took great pride in. He had a twin, but unfortunately, his brother passed away shortly after birth. Raised by a Czech immigrant mother and an Arkansas native father, Walker's upbringing was a mix of different cultures and experiences. Despite his humble beginnings, Walker's natural charisma and physical prowess quickly caught the attention of the film industry. He landed his first major role in the 1950s, playing the lead in the popular TV show Cheyenne. The show was a hit, and Walker became a household name practically overnight. His clean-cut image and all-American charm made him a favorite among audiences, and he went on to star in a number of successful films throughout the 1960s and 1970s. Despite his success, Walker remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He was known for his strong work ethic and his ability to bring depth and nuance to even the most straightforward of roles. In addition to his work in film and television, Walker was also an accomplished singer and musician. He released several albums throughout his career and even performed at the Grand Ole Opry. Today, Walker is remembered as a true Hollywood legend, a man who embodied the spirit of the all-American hero and who left an indelible mark on the film industry. His contributions to the world of entertainment continue to be celebrated and cherished by fans around the world. During the Depression era, the actor worked a variety of jobs to make ends meet. He found work as a Mississippi River boatman, a carnival roustabout, and even a golf caddy. His experiences during this time were diverse and helped shape his future. At the age of 17, the actor joined the Merchant Marines during the last months of World War II. This was a significant experience for him, as he was able to contribute to the war effort in his own way. After the war, the actor returned to civilian life and continued to work a variety of jobs. He found work in the oil fields of Texas, where he learned about the industry and honed his skills. He also worked as an undercover agent on the Long Beach waterfront, a dangerous and exciting job that required him to be vigilant and resourceful. Later, the actor worked as a security officer at the Sands Hotel in Las Vegas. This was a high-profile job that required him to be professional and discreet. He no doubt encountered many interesting people and situations during his time at the Sands. Throughout his life, the actor has always been willing to take on new challenges and try new things. His experiences have been varied and numerous, and they have all contributed to the rich tapestry of his life. Encouraged by acquaintances in Hollywood, the actor decided to give acting a try, thanks to his impressive size, chiseled physique, and good looks. It was talent agent Henry Wilson who gave him his first break in the industry, casting him in a minor role in the 1953 film Bowery Boys. The actor's potential was quickly recognized, and he soon caught the attention of Warner Brothers, who saw his potential to be a leading man. They hired him for the lead role in their new TV series, Cheyenne, which premiered in 1955. The show was a massive success, and the actor became a household name, playing the role of Cheyenne Bodie, a tough and rugged cowboy who roamed the American West. Cheyenne was a groundbreaking show, as it was one of the first TV westerns to feature a single lead character, and it helped to establish the genre's popularity on television. The actor's portrayal of Cheyenne Bodie was a perfect fit for the character, and he quickly became a fan favorite. The actor's success in Cheyenne opened many doors for him in the industry, and he went on to have a successful career in both film and television. But it was his role in Cheyenne that would define his career and leave a lasting impact on the Western genre. Despite his success, the actor remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to work in the industry for several more decades, always bringing his unique blend of toughness and charm to every role he played. 
In conclusion, the actor's journey from being encouraged by his Hollywood acquaintances to his first movie role in Bowery Boys, and then being hired by Warner Brothers for the lead role in Cheyenne is a testament to his talent and determination. He will always be remembered as a true Western icon and a trailblazer in the industry. The actor, known for his role in Cheyenne, was no stranger to singing. In fact, he sang many songs for the show. His journey to fame began when he was hired by Sassel B.D. Mill for the Ten Commandments. This opportunity came about after the actor helped DeMille's secretary change attire. DeMille was impressed by the actor's work ethic and cast him as Cheyenne Bodie in Cheyenne. The character was a loner who roamed the West, helping those in need. The show became popular and the actor's portrayal of Cheyenne Bodie was well received. The actor's singing abilities added another layer to his character. His voice brought the show to life and made it even more enjoyable for viewers. The actor's talent for singing was a welcome surprise, and it added depth to his character. In Cheyenne, the actor's singing was a highlight of the show. His voice was smooth and soothing, and it captured the essence of the Wild West. The songs he sang were catchy and memorable, and they added to the show's overall appeal. The actor's work on Cheyenne was just the beginning of his career. He went on to appear in many other films and shows, showcasing his versatility as an actor and singer. His contributions to the world of entertainment will always be remembered. In conclusion, the actor's work on Cheyenne was a significant part of his career. His singing abilities added an extra touch to the show, making it even more enjoyable for viewers. The actor's talent and work ethic were impressive, and they helped him achieve success in the entertainment industry. In the 1950s, the acting test for the role of Cheyenne brought forth several leading men in Hollywood. However, it was the actor who stood out and caught the attention of Jack Warner. The show, Cheyenne, was a significant milestone as it was the first weekly hour-long film TV drama. The actor's portrayal of Cheyenne Bodie, a wandering cowboy, became popular and viewers tuned in to watch his adventures. However, there is a myth surrounding the actor's appearance on the show. Contrary to popular belief, the actor did not take his shirt off in every episode of Cheyenne. In fact, he only did so in 25 out of the 108 episodes. The show's producers and the actor himself believed that taking his shirt off frequently would make the audience lose interest in the character. They wanted to maintain the show's focus on the storyline and the actor's portrayal of the character rather than his physical appearance. The actor's performance in Cheyenne was a significant contribution to the TV landscape of the 1950s. His portrayal of a complex and multidimensional character helped to establish the genre of the Western TV drama. The show's success paved the way for other hour-long film TV dramas, and the actor's performance set a high standard for future leading men in the genre. In conclusion, the actor's role in Cheyenne was a defining moment in the TV landscape of the 1950s. Despite the myths surrounding his appearance on the show, the actor's performance was a testament to his acting skills and his ability to portray a complex and multidimensional character. His contribution to the genre of Western TV drama helped to establish it as a popular and enduring genre that continues to resonate with audiences today. The actor, known for his imposing physical presence, had a remarkable 48-inch chest and a 32-inch waist. His impressive stature was only matched by his talent, which he demonstrated in the popular show Cheyenne. The show became a success in part due to the actor's charisma and talent, which did not go unnoticed by the studio executives. In fact, the show's success inspired Warner Brothers to produce more hour-long dramas, forever changing the landscape of television. In 1971, the actor experienced a near-death skiing accident that left him pronounced dead by two doctors. However, a third doctor intervened, saving his life. This survival story is a testament to the actor's resilience and determination, qualities that he brought to every role he played. Throughout his career, the actor left an indelible mark on the film and television industry. From his work in Cheyenne to his many other film and television appearances, the actor's talent and presence were always fellow lieutenant. His contributions to the industry will be cherished for generations to come. Despite the many challenges he faced throughout his life, the actor remained a humble and gracious individual. He will always be remembered for his talent, his kindness, and his unforgettable presence. 
His legacy will continue to resonate in the world of film and television, inspiring future generations of actors and filmmakers. The actor's story is a captivating tale of perseverance, talent, and determination. From his impressive physical stats to his inspiring survival story and career highlights, the actor's life and work will continue to captivate and inspire for years to come. Clint Walker, a modest man, was considered a sex symbol during his acting career. His rugged good looks and chiseled physique made him a heartthrob for many. Off screen, he was known to be a fitness fanatic, taking his health and physical fitness very seriously. This passion for fitness even led him to design and market his own exercise machines through Fabergé. Despite his popularity and success, the actor had a dispute with Warner Brothers over the management of his career. This disagreement led to a temporary departure from the show Cheyenne, where he played the lead role of Cheyenne Bodhi. The show was a hit, and fans were disappointed when Walker left. However, the actor's decision to stand up for himself and his career goals was a testament to his strength and determination. Walker's time on Cheyenne was not without its challenges, but he remained committed to his role and the show's success. His portrayal of Cheyenne Bodhi was a significant part of his career, and he will always be remembered for his contributions to the show. Throughout his career, Clint Walker remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He was a true professional and a talented actor who left a lasting impact on the film and television industry. His legacy continues to resonate with fans and industry professionals alike. Despite the challenges he faced, Clint Walker remained focused on his goals and never lost sight of what was important to him. His story is a reminder that success is not always easy, but with determination and hard work, anything is possible. After his time on the hit show Cheyenne, the actor continued to act in films and TV series, primarily known for his roles in westerns. In fact, the original choice for the role of Cheyenne was James Garner, but he was unavailable at the time. The actor's towering height and deep voice made him a natural fit for rugged, masculine roles in westerns. One of his most notable film roles was in The Dirty Dozen, where he played a tough-as-nail soldier alongside Lee Marvin and Charles Bronson. Despite being a Western star, he held his own in this war film and proved his versatility as an actor. In addition to his film work, the actor also appeared in several TV series after Cheyenne, including Kodiak and The Yellow Rose. He continued to play strong, authoritative figures, drawing on his experience as Cheyenne. Despite his success in Westerns, the actor never limited himself to one genre. He proved his range as an actor by taking on roles in various genres, including action, drama, and comedy. However, it was his work in westerns that truly defined his career and left a lasting impact on the genre. Throughout his career, the actor worked with many other accomplished actors and filmmakers, further solidifying his status as a respected and talented performer. His contributions to the world of westerns and film and TV as a whole continue to be celebrated and appreciated by audiences today. In the 1960s and 1970s, yeah, the actor became one of the most famous figures in the film industry, known for his work in Western novels and films. Co-authoring the Western novel Yaki Gold with Kirby Jonas, the actor showcased his writing talents in addition to his on-screen abilities. Following his successful career in the 60s and 70s, the actor took on fewer film roles in his later years. His final film, Small Soldiers, was released in 1998, marking the end of his on-screen career. Despite his limited film appearances in his later years, the actor's impact on the Western genre remained significant. The actor's fame in the 60s and 70s was well-deserved, as he captivated audiences with his charisma and talent. His contributions to the Western genre resonate with fans to this day, and his work continues to be cherished by many. Although his film appearances were fewer in his later years, his legacy in the industry remains indelible. The actor, well known for his work in film and television, received a Golden Boot Award in 1997 in recognition of his outstanding contributions to the genre of Western television. This prestigious award is given to individuals who have made significant contributions to the Western genre, and the actor's body of work certainly fits that description. In addition to the Golden Boot Award, the actor was also honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1960. This star, located at 66 and 24 Hollywood Boulevard, 
is a testament to the actor's enduring popularity and the impact he has had on the entertainment industry. The actor was married three times throughout his life. His first marriage was to Verna Garver, with whom he had one daughter, Valerie. After their divorce, the actor went on to marry Kathy Johnson and then Giselle Hennessy. Despite the ups and downs of his personal life, the actor remained dedicated to his craft and continued to work in the industry for many years. Interestingly, the actor has spoken about how he found the most gratification in the letters and emails he received from fans who saw him as a surrogate father figure. This is a testament to the impact that the actor had on those who watched his films and television shows and the positive influence he had on their lives. Despite the challenges he faced throughout his life and career, the actor remained a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. His contributions to the Western genre and his impact on his fans will not be forgotten. The letters and emails he received from fans expressing their gratitude and admiration are a testament to the enduring legacy of this talented actor. Clint Walker, the actor best known for his role as Cheyenne Bodie in the popular 1950s television show Cheyenne, left a lasting legacy in the world of film and television. With his towering height and rugged good looks, Walker quickly became a heartthrob and a symbol of wholesome masculinity. Born on May 30, 1927, in Hartford, Illinois, Walker's path to stardom was not without its challenges. Before landing his breakout role on Cheyenne, he worked a variety of odd jobs, including stints as a forest ranger and a nightclub bouncer. But it was his role as Cheyenne Bodie, a wandering cowboy, and hired gun that would define his career. The show was a hit, and Walker's portrayal of the strong, silent type made him a household name. Despite the often violent nature of the show, Walker's wholesome image remained intact, and he became a role model for young viewers. Off screen, Walker was known for his kindness and humility. He was a devoted family man, and his love for his wife and children was evident to all who knew him. Walker's impact on the film and television industry is still felt today. His portrayal of Cheyenne Bodie helped to define the Western genre and pave the way for future actors to take on similar roles. In addition to his work on Cheyenne, Walker appeared in a number of films, including The Ten Commandments, None But the Brave, and The Dirty Dozen. He continued to act well into his later years, appearing in guest spots on popular shows like Diagnosis Murder and The Love Boat. Walker's legacy is one of wholesome, family-friendly entertainment. He will always be remembered as a true Western icon and a role model for generations to come. His impact on the film and television industry is undeniable, and his work will continue to be cherished for years to come. In the golden age of Hollywood, Clint Walker, a man of imposing stature and charm, etched his name in the annals of stardom. Born on May 30, 1927, in Illinois, Clint's journey began in the humble town of Royalty, Texas. At the tender age of 17, Clint found himself in the vast expanse of the American West, working as a forest ranger in California. Little did he know, this experience would later fuel his on-screen presence embodying the rugged, self-reliant spirit of the American frontier. In the early 1950s, Clint ventured into the entertainment industry, initially as a nightclub performer, before making his way to the big screen. His breakthrough role came in 1956 when he starred as Cheyenne Bodie in the popular television series Cheyenne. The show became an instant hit, catapulting Clint to fame and cementing his status as a Western genre icon. Throughout his career, Clint graced both the small and silver screens, sharing his talent in various films and TV shows such as The Dirty Dozen, More Dead Than Alive, and Kodiak. His commanding screen presence and authenticity left an indelible mark on audiences, earning him a special place in the hearts of Western fans. Clint Walker's career spanned over four decades, and his contributions to the entertainment industry continue to resonate today. His legacy, woven into the tapestry of Hollywood's golden age, remains a testament to his enduring appeal and the power of dreams realized. Step into Clint's world, and you'll find yourself captivated by a true American original. Initially, Clint Walker's journey began in the heartland of America, where he was born in Illinois. Growing up during the Great Depression, he experienced a humble upbringing that instilled in him a strong work ethic. His family, particularly his mother, played a pivotal role in his early life, encouraging his interest in the arts. 
As a young man, he found work in various odd jobs, from a golf caddy to a factory worker, which taught him perseverance and determination. His towering presence and natural athleticism caught the attention of Hollywood, leading to his first roles in the film industry. It was the guidance of his agent Henry Wilson and the support of Warner Brothers Studio that gave him the opportunity to shine on the silver screen. His portrayal of cowboy Cheyenne Bodie in the television series Cheyenne solidified his place in the entertainment world, and from there, his career flourished. His mentor's belief in his potential and his own rugged individualism helped shape his path to stardom. Clint Walker, a true American icon, discovered his passion for acting in a serendipitous way. Born on May 30, 1927, in Hartford, Illinois, Walker's life took a turn toward stardom while he was working at a California ski resort. A chance encounter with a Hollywood agent, who was impressed by Walker's imposing physique and charisma, led to a screen test, and eventually, a contract with Warner Brothers. This opportunity came as a surprise to Walker, who had never seriously considered acting before. However, he was always drawn to the idea of adventure and excitement, having served in the Merchant Marine during World War II. Acting, it seemed, offered a different kind of adventure, one that would shape his life and career in ways he could never have imagined. Walker's first major role was in the hit TV series Cheyenne, which aired from 1955 to 1963. Playing the title character, Walker became an instant heartthrob and a symbol of rugged masculinity. His deep voice, piercing blue eyes, and towering height made him a natural fit for westerns, and he would go on to appear in numerous films and TV shows in this genre. Despite his success, Walker remained humble and grounded. He often spoke of his love for the outdoors and his passion for fishing and hunting. In many ways, Walker's love for adventure and the great outdoors was the fuel that drove his desire to pursue a career in acting. He saw each new role as an opportunity to explore new worlds and to challenge himself in new and exciting ways. Walker's passion for acting was evident in every performance. Whether he was playing a tough-as-nails cowboy or a charming leading man, Walker brought a sense of authenticity and intensity to every role. His performances resonated with audiences and his legacy as a talented and versatile actor continues to this day. In the end, it was a combination of fate, talent, and passion that led Clint Walker to become one of the most beloved actors of his time. From his humble beginnings in Illinois to his rise to stardom in Hollywood, Walker's journey is a testament to the power of following one's dreams and the enduring appeal of a true American hero. Clint Walker, a towering figure at 6'6", faced numerous obstacles on his path to becoming a successful actor. Born on May 30, 1927, in rural Illinois, Walker's family struggled financially during the Great Depression. As a young man, he worked various odd jobs, from hay baling to being a door-to-door -door salesman to help make ends meet. When Walker decided to pursue acting, he encountered skepticism from industry professionals. With no formal training or connections, he was often dismissed as just another hopeful with unrealistic dreams. However, Walker's determination and resilience shone through. He took odd jobs in Hollywood, such as working as a security guard and a truck driver to support himself while persistently auditioning for roles. Walker's breakthrough came when he was cast as Cheyenne Bodie in the popular television series Cheyenne. Despite initial concerns about his acting ability, Walker quickly won over audiences and critics alike with his charisma and authenticity. His performance in Cheyenne not only solidified his status as a leading man, but also helped to challenge industry stereotypes about height and masculinity. Throughout his career, Walker faced numerous obstacles, from industry skepticism to personal challenges. However, his resilience and determination always shone through. He found creative solutions to overcome these hurdles, such as taking on roles that showcased his unique physicality and authenticity. Today, Clint Walker is remembered as a trailblazer in the world of television and film, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and captivate audiences. In 1954, Clint Walker, a little-known actor, landed the role of a lifetime. He was cast as Cheyenne Bodie in the TV series Cheyenne, which followed the adventures of an ex-gunfighter in the American West. This groundbreaking role not only propelled Walker to stardom, but also established the genre of adult westerns on television. 
according to Western Clippings, a renowned publication dedicated to Western films and television. Cheyenne was a significant departure from previous TV Westerns, which were primarily aimed at children. The show's sophisticated storyline and complex characters, embodied by Walker Stoic in brooding performance, helped to redefine the genre and attract a more mature audience. Walker's portrayal of Cheyenne Bodie was also notable for his physical prowess. Standing at six feet six inches tall, Walker's imposing stature and rugged good looks made him a natural fit for the role of a tough and resourceful cowboy. As author and film historian, Gene Blotner noted in his book, The TV Westerns of the 50s and 60s, Walker's physical presence and natural charisma helped to create an iconic character that resonated with audiences. Despite the success of Cheyenne, Walker remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He was known for his meticulous preparation and attention to detail, often spending hours researching his roles and perfecting his character's mannerisms and speech patterns. This dedication earned him the respect of his peers and helped to solidify his reputation as a serious and committed actor. In 1967, Walker delivered another career-defining performance in the film The Dirty Dozen. The film, which followed a group of convicted soldiers tasked with executing a dangerous mission behind enemy lines during World War II, was a critical and commercial success. Walker's portrayal of Samson Posey, a Native American soldier with a troubled past, was widely praised for its depth and complexity. According to film critic Leonard Malton, Walker's performance in The Dirty Dozen was a revelation, showcasing his range and versatility as an actor. Malton noted that Walker's understated and nuanced performance helped to elevate the film and create a memorable and enduring character. Throughout his career, Clint Walker remained a respected and admired figure in the entertainment industry. His groundbreaking work in television and film helped to redefine the Western genre and establish him as a talented and dedicated actor. As his peers, critics, and collaborators have noted, Walker's impact on the industry and his contributions to the world of Westerns will be remembered for generations to come. Clint Walker, a man of few words but many talents, approached his acting work with a unique style that was both rugged and refined. Born on May 30, 1927, in Hartford, Illinois, Walker's early life on a farm instilled in him a strong work ethic and a love for the great outdoors. These experiences would later shape his on-screen persona as a tough, self-reliant cowboy. Walker's breakout role came in 1955 when he starred as Cheyenne Bodie in the popular TV series Cheyenne. His towering height and muscular build made him a natural fit for the role, but it was his quiet intensity and understated charisma that truly set him apart. Walker's approach to acting was simple yet effective. He believed in letting his actions speak louder than words. Despite his success on Cheyenne, Walker was never one to rest on his laurels. He continued to challenge himself as an actor, taking on a variety of roles that showcased his range and versatility. From playing a gunslinger in The Dirty Dozen to a pilot in The Great Escape, Walker brought a sense of authenticity and grit to every character he portrayed. Walker's personal experiences and worldview were also reflected in his work. He was a staunch conservative and an advocate for gun rights, and these beliefs often informed his character choices. However, Walker was also a deeply spiritual man, and he approached his work with a sense of humility and reverence. One of Walker's most memorable roles was in the 1971 film The Deadly Trackers, in which he played a sheriff seeking revenge against a group of outlaws who killed his family. The film was a departure from Walker's usual Western fare, but it showcased his ability to convey complex emotions and nuanced character motivations. Walker's approach to acting was not without its challenges. He often clashed with directors and producers who wanted him to play his characters in a more stereotypical, over-the-top manner. But Walker remained steadfast in his convictions, believing that subtlety and nuance were the keys to creating a believable and memorable character. In the end, Clint Walker's artistic vision and process were defined by his unwavering commitment to authenticity and his refusal to conform to industry norms. His unique style and approach to acting have left a lasting impact on the world of cinema and continue to inspire aspiring actors today. Clint Walker, the towering actor, made a significant impact in the Western genre of Hollywood. Standing at 6'6", he brought a unique presence to the screen 
particularly in his breakout role as Cheyenne Bodie in the TV series Cheyenne. Walker's portrayal of Cheyenne Bodie was a departure from the stereotypical cowboy roles of the time. His character was intelligent, physically imposing, and had a strong moral compass. This portrayal influenced future Western heroes, such as Steve McQueen's Josh Randall in Wanted Dead or Alive, and Hugh O'Brien's White Earp in The Life and Legend of White Earp. According to film historian Dr. Martin Grahams, Clint Walker brought a new level of masculinity and intelligence to the Western hero. His portrayal of Cheyenne Bodie was a game changer and set the stage for more complex and nuanced Western characters. Walker's influence extended beyond his on-screen roles. He was one of the first actors to negotiate a profit participation deal in a television series, which paved the way for future actors to secure better financial deals. Actor and Western genre fan Kurt Russell commented on Walker's influence, saying, Clint Walker was a trailblazer in more ways than one. His impact on the Western genre and the business side of Hollywood is still felt today. In addition to his work in Westerns, Walker also starred in the classic adventure film The Great Escape alongside Steve McQueen and Charles Bronson. His performance in this film showcased his versatility as an actor and further solidified his status as a Hollywood icon. Despite his success, Walker remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He once said, I've been very fortunate in my career I've worked with some amazing people and have had some great roles. But at the end of the day, I'm just a guy who loves to act. Walker's contributions to the film industry and the Western genre continue to resonate today. His influence can be seen in modern Westerns and the portrayal of strong, intelligent leading men in film and television. Clint Walker, the towering actor known for his role in the popular TV series Cheyenne, led a fascinating life outside of the spotlight. Born on May 30, 1927, in Hartford, Illinois, Walker's humble beginnings shaped his down-to-earth personality. Growing up during the Great Depression, Walker developed a strong work ethic and a deep appreciation for nature. He worked various jobs, including stints as a nightclub bouncer and a forest ranger, before finding success in Hollywood. These experiences instilled in him a profound respect for the great outdoors, which he often showcased in his film roles. Walker was an avid fisherman and hunter, and he often incorporated his love for wildlife into his work. In the 1966 film The Dirty Dozen, he played a character who shared his passion for the outdoors. Walker's love for nature also extended to his personal life, as he was known to spend much of his free time fishing and hunting in the great outdoors. In addition to his love for the outdoors, Walker was also a dedicated family man. He was married to his wife, Susan Cavallari, for over 40 years until his passing in 2010. Together, they had two children, a daughter named Valerie and a son named Michael. Walker's family was always his top priority, and he often spoke about the joy and fulfillment he found in being a husband and father. Walker was also known for his philanthropic efforts, he was a longtime supporter of the American Cancer Society, having lost his first wife, Berna Garcia, to the disease in 1974. Walker was actively involved in various fundraising events and awareness campaigns, and he often spoke about the importance of early detection and prevention. Another cause close to Walker's heart was animal welfare. He was a passionate advocate for animal rights and worked closely with several animal welfare organizations throughout his life. Walker believed that all creatures, great and small, deserve to be treated with kindness and respect. In conclusion, Clint Walker was a man of many passions and interests outside of his professional sphere. His love for the outdoors, family, and philanthropy were integral parts of his life and often informed his work. Through his film roles and charitable endeavors, Walker left a lasting impact on the world and will always be remembered as a kind, generous, and compassionate individual. Clint Walker, a true Hollywood legend, leaves behind a lasting legacy in the acting world. With his breakout role in Cheyenne, Walker's towering presence and charisma captivated audiences, making him a household name in the 1950s and 60s. His career spanned decades, with notable appearances in films like The Dirty Dozen and Yellowstone Kelly. Walker's advice for aspiring actors is timeless. He once said, always be yourself and don't try to be something you're not because if you're not honest, people will see right through you. He also emphasized the importance of hard work and perseverance, stating, 
There's no substitute for hard work and dedication. If you want something badly enough, you'll find a way to make it happen. As for the future, Walker would likely encourage aspiring professionals to embrace change and innovation. The entertainment industry is constantly evolving, and staying adaptable is crucial for long-term success. Whether it's through new technologies, storytelling techniques, or ways of reaching audiences, there are countless opportunities for aspiring actors to make their mark. In terms of his own future contributions, Walker's legacy will continue to inspire and influence generations of actors to come. His unforgettable performances and timeless advice serve as a reminder of the power of authenticity, hard work, and dedication. By following in his footsteps and blazing their own trails, aspiring actors can honor Walker's legacy and create their own. Clint Walker, a man of few words but immense presence, began his journey in 1954, debuting in the Yellow Mountain. Standing at 6'6", he brought a unique stature to the screen, captivating audiences with his roles in westerns. His most iconic role as Cheyenne Bodie in the series Cheyenne made him a household name. Despite facing numerous challenges, including a near-fatal accident, Walker's passion never waned. He returned to acting, proving his resilience and commitment to his craft. His innovative approach to acting, blending rugged masculinity with vulnerability, left an indelible mark on the industry. Walker's enduring impact extends beyond his on-screen roles. He served as a role model, demonstrating the power of creativity and perseverance. His journey reminds us that with passion and determination, we can overcome any obstacle. In the end, it's not the number of roles we play, but the impact we leave that truly resonates. Let's hear your thoughts on Clint Walker, the towering figure who dominated both television and film screens. Known for his roles in Cheyenne and The Dirty Dozen, Walker left an indelible mark on the industry. His work spanned over three decades, and he became a symbol of the rugged, stoic hero that many admired. Despite facing personal challenges, including a near-fatal accident, Walker continued to captivate audiences with his charm and charisma. His legacy lies on through his memorable performances and the trail he blazed for future generations of actors. So, what are your favorite memories of Clint Walker's work? Share them in the comments below, and let's celebrate his enduring impact on entertainment. And if you enjoy this content, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. Let's keep the conversation going and honor the creative spirits who have shaped the entertainment industry.